Hello YouTube, this video is to share my adventure in making a power conditioner for my audio system. Disclaimer, as the project involves using of high voltage mains power, viewers are strongly advised not to conduct the project that mentioned in this video or any projects similar to the one mentioned in this project. The need. As mentioned by various sources, the mains power of average homes are littered with various sources of noises. Many high-power appliances will induce noises into the mains. Poorly designed power supplies from household devices will also dump interferences into the mains power. Also, the power cables in the walls, especially the ones without shielding against EMI interference, will act like giant antennae that pick up high-frequency noises from signal-emitting devices, such as wireless routers, etc. Possible effects of having high noise in the main supply. I tried to collect information from various means and views from experienced audiophiles. Generally, one may perceive effects from power noise in the following six areas. 1. Harsh eyes. Especially on string instruments and female vocals. 2. Background noise. 3. Worsen dynamics. 4. Hard sounding, vocals and instruments seem to be ending more abruptly than usual. 5. Affecting the accuracy of DACs that low volume sounds may disappear. 6. Similar to 5, spatial perception was worsened due to disappearing of some faint sound. The lack of breadth and depth of the soundstage may be observed. Separation of various sound sources may also be worsened too. Main design choice. Several good designs of power conditioner are available here in Hong Kong. Apart from the power generating style designs that generates perfect sine waves and amplify to mains power voltage, two other mainstream designs are using isolation transformer and filters. As the power generating design seems too daunting as a DIY project, the design of this power conditioner will utilize the isolation transformer and filter. Ready made power conditioners having similar specifications, as this project cost around 5,000 US dollars. Here in Hong Kong parts are rather easy to source and good bargains are available from time to time. Hence, it was targeted that the device should cost 300 US dollars or less. As for whether I can achieve the target, the actual cost will be revealed at the end of this series of videos. Case Design As six holes fitting the power output sockets are needed to be cut. I opted for a ready-made case for this device. I deliberately choose a smaller case because of the limited space in my home. However, such choice gave me a lot of headache on fitting all the components into the limited space and avoiding interferences between those components. Therefore, a 3D model was made in Fusion 360 to test out various ways on installing the components. The isolation transformer is the biggest component in this device. It is also the heaviest one that weights 22 kilograms. It is so big that the only way to fit into the case is to install it vertically. As the plates of the case is only 3 mm thick, there is no way that the right hand side plate can support the weight of the transformer. As such, two 6 mm aluminum bars are added between the transformer and the case plate to strengthen the support to the transformer. Another problem was caused by such design as a chamber was formed between the mounting plate of the transformer and the right plate, resonance may occur during the operation of the transformer. Thus, the empty space will be filled by damping materials. A toroidal transformer was chosen for this device in view of its relatively smaller size in compared with traditional EI transformers. Also, the toroidal transformer radiates one-tenth of the magnetic field of EI transformers. To add a little bit more control to the magnetic flux of the transformer, a magnetic shield between the transformer and the power filter is also added. Electrical Design As mentioned before, the use of an isolation transformer is an effective way of rejecting the noises in the mains power supply. Also, a premium grade power filter will help eliminating the residual noises from the output of the isolation transformer. Hence, the whole device was designed around these two components. The device connects to the mains power via a standard IEC socket. A high current switch controls the on and off of the device. However, the main switching of the device will be conducted by a high current relay in view of the high current of the isolation transformer. 
After the relay, power is fed into a soft start module to lessen the high in-rush current of the transformer. Without the soft start module, the high in-rush current may cause the circuit breakers to trip when powering on the device. The soft start module will feed power to the transformer in a gradually increasing manner, full power will be supplied at about 2 seconds from powering on. The isolation transformer has two separate windings, the input winding and the output winding, there is no electrical connection between the two windings. As the ratio between the two windings is 1 to 1. The output voltage will be the same as the input voltage. The transformer used in this device has a rating of 3 kVA. Hence, the maximum output current is about 13 amps. As I live in Hong Kong, the output current is similar to the rating of the main supply. Therefore, the rating of the transformer is considered to be sufficient. From the output of the transformer, power is fed into a distribution block. One output is directed to the digital meter for showing the operation status of the device. Another output is fed into a premium grade filter then connect to two of the three sets of the output sockets. The final output is connected directly to the remaining set of output socket bypassing the filter so as to allow the high current devices, such as power amplifiers, to have unrestricted power supply from the transformer. The parts were ordered and they were coming to me one by one. Also, construction for the device was started while waiting for the remaining parts. Hence, the part on actually making the device will be coming soon. So, please stay tuned.